Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of January 22nd, 2021. It is still another great day in America with President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris in office. And it will continue to be wonderful days as long as we keep that orange monkey, Donald Trump, out of office. But on to other news. Nancy Pelosi says that she is ready to move immediately on the $1.9 trillion stimulus package that is Biden's proposal. She said that the next in the next week, the House will devote all the um, time that they have to drafting the bill to get it over to the Senate. And she said that the next stimulus package can be introduced as early as February 1st to the Senate. President Biden has signed a total of 17 executive orders on his first days. Ten of these orders covered the COVID-19 pandemic and issues we were having here in the United States. I'm guessing another seven were to undo some of Donald Trump's mistakes. Um, Donald Trump, I'm oh, sorry, Biden's COVID response creator said, what we're um, dealing with here is a lot worse than they were expecting to get meaning that Donald Trump did not have a COVID response team ready to deal with the pandemic we're facing now. And the fact that he actually canceled 1 million doses of COVID-19 vaccine proves my point. Um, the House of Representatives will be working on the stimulus package next week. It is good to see all the um, progress that the House is working on, but we still have the problem with the Senate. I mean, Chuck Schumer may be the Senate Majority Leader right now, but for any bills to pass the Senate, we still need at least 10 Republican senators on board. I know we have three of them on board. I can't remember exactly who their names are, but we have three of them on board, which is a good thing. Um, issues are expected to happen because top-ranking Republican Ray Blunt says he has little hope for Biden's stimulus plan. He told reporters that the whole package is a non-starter. In other words, he doesn't want to work on it because it's too costly. But to save human lives and to save the American people from the, pan from the pandemic that has struck us so hard, as well as all the damage that orange monkey Donald Trump has done, um, it has to be a big stimulus package. And whatever money's left over past that, because as we noticed, they, when they passed the, um, oh my gosh, was that, what was that bill called? That first one they passed, the CARES Act. There was still like, what, $350 billion left over of unused money that they could have reallocated to a new stimulus package, which they did not. They locked it away. Well, the Republicans locked it away to make it more harder for Biden. And on the $14 stimulus checks, voters in Georgia say that they feel betrayed after the Democrats promised them $2,000 stimulus checks. They are saying that $1,400 is a betrayal of the working class. I don't disagree with them on that. But for the people of Georgia and of the United States, there's still hope for the stimulus bill. It is still being opened because it's still open to modifications. So they can still make it so instead of getting $1,400, and get $2,000. We'll see what happens with the house next week as they work on a stimulus package to get it out to the people to help the people that need it. According to anonymous sources, the Democrats are drafting legislation that would direct the IRS to send recurring monthly payments to tens of millions of American families as the advance of the <clears throat> to the, the child ta uh, care tax credit, basically. What the Dems want to do is to increase the child tax credit to $3,600 plus increase the child tax credit to $3,000, $3,600 for children up to six years old, $3,000 for children between six and 17 years of age. But for the IRS to pay this amount monthly in advance for 12 months, so basically the IRS would be tasked with depositing checks worth $300 Every month for children up to six months, up to six years old, or twenty-five hundred dollars, sorry, two hundred fifty dollars for children between the ages of six and seventeen every month. 
these benefits could prove costly to the uh, national, the federal deficit by $120 billion, but researchers say that the benefits could help out in the long run because it could take out, it could take 50% of the American children out of poverty. Actually, that's a pretty good trade-off if you think so. I mean, let me know what you, what you think about this. Do you think that the this ta- child tax credit new thing is a, is a new, is a good idea or a bad idea? I'd actually like to know your opinion on that one because I actually think it's a good idea because they like said they're talking about doing this a monthly thing so for at least a year and that would basically mean that for one year uh, for each child you have under six you get $300 deposited in your account in the IRS and 250 for each child six and se- six, between 6 and 17 years of age deposited in your account they also say that you could also claim this child tax credit on your taxes when you file them. You get it that way as well. But who would want to do that? I mean, think about it here. You, get like, you have one child and you get a $300 boost in your, in your bank account every month because of that one child that's under six years old. I think it's a good idea. But then again, you never know. I mean, you, never, you might owe taxes. And if you do, well, then you might want to use that type child tax credit to cover your butt. But hey. This is just my opinion, and I appreciate you guys for sticking around and hearing my interesting voice, and I hope you guys enjoy my program as well as the content provided within, and if you do, please hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to let me know that you want to hear more of my wonderful, wonderful voice, and please, as always, leave as many comments as you want, and I will reply to them as fast as I can. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful Friday. Have an excellent evening. And be safe out there. Bye.